Hey guys, welcome to the show. We're checking out the dock case, smart SSD enclosure. If you ever wanted to upgrade the amount of storage you have on your Macs, this is the enclosure for you. And this is a, a preta version. So this pre-release, this product is coming out very soon, but check it out. USB 3.2 gen, two 10 gigabits a second, 1000 megabytes a second, write speeds. That's 10 times, almost 9.5 times faster than hard drive. Boom five to 10 seconds power loss protection. So if you lose power, you got 10 seconds to write that data save, good. You got seconds safe ejecting the disc, good. And you got a nice display with it. And the max capacity that this guy should support is two terabytes. So let's open this filler up and see what it looks like. So, so this is it. This is the dock case SSD enclosure. And I'm gonna just get rid of that beautiful. It's got beautiful, it says it's NVMe detected. Tells you it's two terabytes. The life of the SSD is good. 1.8 terabytes remaining. There it is right there. Now, what is that? That is a screw because we are going to be doing a little bit of our favorite thing in the world as a technology person, and that is DIY. So we're going to be opening this guy up because it doesn't come with storage inside it. You need to get your own SSD and we're actually going to fit in together. It's going to be really easy. This guy right here, this is a two terabyte SSD. So we're gonna get a lot, lot, lot of storage out of this system. So inside the case, you actually get the screwdriver that you need to be unscrewing things around. And you also, you get a little bit of a toolkit. It's like a screw, I guess for your SSD to screw it in just in case it doesn't come with your box. So it's nice that it comes with a screwdriver. Boom. And once it's unscrewed, just flip it up and it should just open up. As you can see right there, what is that? That is a bit of a thermal tape. So you got a little bit of heat sink over here to keep your SD cool. And it gives you a warning right there. It says, do not tear off. So just resist the urge of tearing this guy off. And there it is. There is the USB that you're gonna plug into right there and the slot for your SSD. And as you can see, it has numbers there for the different kinds of SSDs you can support. So you can support 2230, 2242, 2260, and 2280. Now this one right here, this is a 2280. So it should just slot right in. So I'm gonna plug it in like that, push it downwards. And as you can see, the screw is already pre-screwed in there. So let me just unscrew that, put it in. And of course, if you've got another SSD, a shorter one, you put the screw into the appropriate hole. So slot in like that, push it down, make sure it's nicely aligned, nicely aligned, and stick the screw back in. A little bit fiddly, but it's worthwhile. Now I guess you would ideally want a magnetized screw, but maybe magnets next to SSDs aren't a good idea, so you just have to do it MacGyver style. And I have screwed it right in. That is it. That is all the magic that has been done. So I put the case back on, screw it in, because I'm confident I've done a good job. Screw it in nice and tight. And now it's time to plug it into my Mac. You've got two options. You've got USB-A and USB-C. All right, so now it's time to plug it in. So USB-C and USB-C right here. Boom. Beautiful, look at that. Can you see that? It's got a nice little animation in new start. It says waiting power stable three, two, one, detecting SSD. And it says cannot find partition and you can format your disk. It's got all this extra information to help you out. But of course, Mac has also found this into the information. So I'm just gonna initialize it right now. There it is dot case right there. I'm just, you can see that it's two terabytes of information. So I'm just gonna erase this, just new SSD, hit erase, boom, formatting. And it's right there, ready. If I go in my finder, I can see new SSDs right there. And we'll hold two terabytes of information. So I've got two performance tests I've got for you. And first I'll do disk speed. And look at that right there. 1000 megabytes a second write speeds on this SSD enclosure. And one, almost 1000 megabytes a second SSD read speeds. And this is using a PCIe 4 NVMe SSD, super fast performance over here. As a comparison, this is my beloved SanDisk external SSD, nice and small and uh, very light. As you can see, this is very, very comparable in size compared to the other one. This is only one terabyte, but let's see the speeds. So when I plug this guy in, so typically, as you can see, 300 megabytes a second write, and look how slow that is, 300 megabytes a second write. 
Whereas when you do it yourself, 1000 megabytes a second write speeds. It's got beautiful, it says it's NVMe detected. It tells you it's two terabytes. The life of the SSD is good. 1.8 terabytes remaining. And it's got the seconds worth. If I unplug the power, let's see. You got seconds safe ejecting the disc if I unplug it. So you get extra protection with this beautiful enclosure. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.